In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom percentage utilization visuals in your matrix visuals using SVG. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along and do it for yourself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we go over tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So recently I've been tasked with creating or visualizing utilization percentage for various resources using a donut chart. Now, normally this wouldn't be a problem because there's already a donut chart in Power BI, but in this specific scenario, I would need to show it in a matrix visual and add some custom colorings to visualize if they are utilized 100% uh, to show red, if it's 75% to show orange and everything else green. Now, Power BI doesn't provide this visual out of the box for you to use in this specific scenario, but you can use some other tools like SVG to create your own custom visuals to fulfill this. Now, if you don't know much about SVG and want to learn more about how to implement it in Power BI, I did cover it in a separate video. So go check that one out if you haven't yet. So today we're going to have a look at modifying an existing solution and make it basically work for us. So let's have a look at this report that I prepared for you today. It's a simple report with a single table here with a list of different employees, different project management tasks, as well as the value of percentage in terms of uh, utilization. I've also created a percentage effort here, which is just, uh, just summing up the the percentage values here just to uh, measure what the utilization percentage is for each of these employees. Let's add all of these values into a matrix visual. So let's put employees and attributes here. We'll convert this into a, a matrix visual like this, and then we'll put the percentage effort, the measure that we've created into the values to visualize those, um, those values as percentage. So as you can see, it gives us a percentage value for each of these employees for each of these different tasks. And let's say we want to visualize the pie chart percentages here, just to make it a little bit clearer what the utilization percentage is for each of these employees in these parts. So a good place to start is actually a solution that's already been created uh, by Mint's data. And this is actually a really cool solution here. It's called Harvey Charts. If you scroll down on their blog post here, it gives you, you know, some other visuals to use like the Harvey bowl or, you know, the, the Harvey charts. So I'm going to leave a link to this uh, blog post in the description box below so you can check it out yourself. But essentially what we're going to use is the Harvey chart visual here, which is essentially a more advanced version of what we're trying to do. So as you can see, there are two things that are being represented here. There is the percent completion and the time spent. So there's two basically pie charts on top of each other inside this visual. And although it's useful and it does give you a lot more uh, insights than what we are trying to do with the utilization percentage, it does have the main components that we want to try and use in our visual, at least in our scenario. So we're going to use this as a starting point and then modify it so that we can create our own donut chart. So to get started, the first thing that you need to do is first of all, download the accompanying PPIX file, which will give you a working example of how the the Harvey charts and the Harvey bowls work in Power BI Desktop. So you just simply click this download file to download the PBX file, and it should open up this kind of report for you, which will have an example of how the, the Harvey bowl looks like in a table format. So from here, you simply just select that uh, the table to point us to the right measure where it writes the SVG. Now, here is the SVG file that we want to use. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to copy it and paste it into our own report here. So I'm going to create a new measure right here. Click paste. As you can see, there are only two input sections here that, uh, that we need to update, which is the background percentage and the front percentage to control those micro charts. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace these with the percentage effort that we have created 
both of these just to remove the error that we have for now. Like this. And if we hit enter, we change the data category of this into an image URL. And then we go back to our matrix here. And instead of the values, the percentage effort, we use the Harvey ball. Now, if I remove the other one, the effort, here we go. So as you can see, it is now previewing us the, uh, the Harvey ball, just showing the percentage effort for each of these employees in each of these tasks. So now let's have a deeper look at this Harvey ball SVG measure because it's there's quite a few lines of code here and uh, there are a lot of uh, inline comments to make you understand what each of these do so uh, we're gonna just work on updating some of the things that we want to make sure that we're only showing the stuff that we want so for example in this case we want uh, the percentage value in the middle to show the utilization percentage we want the circle in the front here to always be circle just so that we have like a like let's say a hollow donut chart here and we also want to update the color of this bar at the background so the gray one to change based on what the total percentage is so if it's more than 75 percent for example we want to show the color of that as red and then vice versa. So let's go to the measure here. And there are a few first things that we can adjust on the variable already. So for example, uh, the background color, for example, is something that we can adjust, which is at the moment set manually to be gray. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap it with a switch statement. And we're going to say if the, um, uh, if the effort, which in this case is just the background percentage, is less than or greater than or greater than or equal to 75 percent we want this to be red and we don't need to use hex code here uh, power bi understands just the name of the color so we're going to do if it's greater than or equals to 50 percent we want to make this orange otherwise we want to show it as green so if we just um, minimize this as you can see the colors already get updated next thing to look at uh, is uh, we can probably delete these actually we'll leave it, leave it there for now this is what, what defines what the color is inside like the inside uh, circle so there is a show text here which is actually something that will repurpose this was init initially built to kind of check that the numbers that you put uh, in the input variables here to be correct, it needs to be uh, greater than or equals to one. So it is in the percentage ranges. And if it's not, then it will give an error. So in this case, we want to repurpose that to show the percentage value in the middle of our donut chart. So in this case, uh, it's only showing um, if there is an error. But in this case, because we're not using it like that, we're just going to change this to be true to always be showing that text. And then we'll adjust how that text will look like in a little bit. So for now, we'll just set it to true. The next thing is the variable front percentage, which uh, calculates how big that uh, pie chart is in the middle. Now, uh, we, we hooked it up with a percentage effort here, but we can actually just set it to one because we want that inner circle to always be a full circle. So if you scroll down here, so this is the front arc, which uh, controls the inner circle inside the, uh, the donut chart. So here, instead of using color front circle, you can just simply change this into white. So that will make sure that the inside circle is white. So if we just look at what we have so far, as you can see, we have the text here, which we need to adjust to be in the middle. We have the inner circle to be always full, to be one. And then we have it colored white. Okay, so the next thing is to uh, actually adjust the text that uh, is showing up, which is at the moment is based off of the subtitle that is being created here based on you know some error checks. But now what we want to do is actually change this to show the percentage value of that effort. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use background percentage like this, which is basically just the effort uh, percentage effort and uh, what we're going to do is actually we're going to format this to show as a percentage value so we're going to wrap it with a format and we're going to use number and the percentage sign 
And uh, let's also adjust how it's aligned inside the circle. So in this case, we're going to do instead of percentage here, we're going to use zero to reset this, leave the text anchor to middle. And then we need to use something called alignment baseline. And then we'll adjust this one to be middle as well. So that should put our label in the middle here. So as you can see now, it's in the middle. Uh, and maybe you want to make it a little bit bigger so we can make the font size to be 0 0.4. And there we go. So it's showing us the value in the middle here. Uh, one last thing that I think we haven't covered yet is uh, when the uh, the bar at the background disappears. Now, because of how the Harvey balls work, when it's 100%, it doesn't need to show the background. So it kind of hides that already. So we need to adjust that logic to always show that background uh, bar, regardless if it's 100% or not. So now we're going to look for something called the background circle percentage. So here in line 30, and we're going to adjust this to work the same way as the front percent uh, uh, front circle percent, which in this case, there is this little if statement here, which checks if the value is, um, is almost at one. Uh, and we're just simply going to copy that and basically replicate it for, uh, for the background circle percentage. So what we're going to do to make our lives simpler, we're going to copy that and then replace this with the background percentage validated like this. And if we hit enter, there we go. So as you can see with those uh, pie charts that are 100%, it uh, shows us red and it shows that circle is full. So from here, you can do your you know typical editing or add some more formatting elements to your SVG if you want to customize this any further. But at least for my purposes, this is actually more than enough already for me to, um, to, to start working and visualizing from. And that's really it for this video. So uh, in the SVG file itself, we only focused on adjusting and modifying some bits to make sure that we are um, we have a working version of this uh, donut chart in a matrix visual. However, you have a lot of other opportunities to either customize this or even clean up that uh, that code because we have a lot of variables that we don't use anymore or any validations that we actually don't really need. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a link to the blog post so you can uh, load it into your own data and play around with it yourself. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.